Good morning. It's uh, New Year's Eve 2022. We are the Highwaymen. My name's Jason. His name's Steve. And today we are going to be talking or asking the question, is the human race the first civilized race on this planet or has there been others before us? What do you reckon, Stephen? Mate, brilliant question. Absolutely brilliant question. And one that, for me, is right up there with the, with the, the Big Bang Theory and all the other bits and pieces. I believe we are not the first intelligent race or whatever you want to call it of, of, uh, of beings to habit, habit up the, the earth. Um, and I think the clues are all around us as well. I really do. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, you, you go back to uh, cavemen and there's pictures inside these caves that have been found. Of, of what is blatantly obvious a flying saucer or, or, or a, uh, a, a what we would perceive as an alien um how were the pyramids built there's got to be there's more and more you look at the gods from uh, for, from the egyptian times with their strange heads and all the other bits and pieces on it they are they are another race another being and do you know what it wouldn't even surprise me if they're still here in one shape or form, somehow either living under the sea or under the ground, I don't know, I don't know, or or found another dimension to exist in parallel to us. No, we're not, we're not the first ones here. And I think we lost a lot of, I think we're getting, I say we, I think, uh, I think they were perhaps getting a bit too, too far ahead of themselves, if you like, something happened, all, all, all of this technology was, was lost or hidden. And we're just starting to scratch the surface to discover bits of it. Well, well, actually, I was when I started this, I was actually thinking a little bit differently to that. Not so much in as in as much as aliens existing within the the, the span of the humans. I'm thinking, has there been other civilizations, maybe even before the dinosaurs? Quite probably. Yeah. So let's say Quite let's say probably. so you know we've had we've had the Mayans. The Incas, the Romans, all these kind of great civilizations that kind of came and went, if you like, and uh, you know the the Mayans sort of disappeared, and no one can explain why they kind of, you know, all their temples were kind of left behind. Um, you know, what would happen if human beings just, you know, if maybe COVID had been a strain of some deadly virus that actually killed us all off? Let's let's say for a second that COVID was far more deadlier than we than it was worse than Ebola, worse than anything we've ever seen before. And it actually wiped us out completely. In 100,000 years, there would be, I think it's fair to say that, you know, most of the plastics that exist now would have eroded to nothing. Um, most of the, um, the any nuclear fallout of anything that had gone would, would have gone by then. I think the same. Um, it's twenty thousand years until uh, Chernobyl is going to be safe again. So let's say hundred thousand years for 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 argument's sake. I don't know. Them. Anyone who's got a PhD in nuclear physics physics might be able to uh, embolden me a little bit more. But let's say a million years time, every single structure will will have deteriorated. Then by, by then there'll be no sign of human beings whatsoever. So let's say that in a million years some human beings don't exist anymore and our whole planet, our whole existence has been eroded with time, which is, which, and then a, a new species comes along and decides, you know, we are the first species. You know, there was never anything before us. Has that happened before? That, that's a spooky take on things. And because the what? Earth's millions of it's years old, possible. millions of years old. Now, here's an interesting yeah, fact, so. interesting fact that I found. So, so, um car, car the carbon that we we produce into the atmosphere has uh, uh, um if we burn stuff like cavemen would it brings a carbon level 13 i mean i believe this is right i've seen this online i'm not again i'm not a scientist so i don't know so carbon level 13 and, and, that, and that shows in in rock formations from millions of years ago we can find we can find all this you know so so that in a million years if we did wear excellent somebody could look back and look at the carbon footprint that we've left on the earth you know embedded right. in the rocks and they can gauge by from where, so there's carbon level 13 which is just from like burning stuff and then carbon level 14 and 15 that only comes around in the industrial age there's evidence going back millions of years that we were like producing carbon level 14 and 15 yeah now they're not saying that mean they're not saying that's 
proof that of other life, but they're saying that that carbon was being produced at those levels millions of years ago. So it is possible, no, theoretically that possible, that there was another civilization, not even necessarily humans, millions of years ago. And I thought that was it's that was a, quite, yeah, it is a feasible thing because, like I said to you, COVID could have been something else, couldn't it, to wipe us all out? Absolutely. You know, yeah, and as soon as absolutely as soon as, so. So, so how have human? And it might not even be human beings. You know, look how different the dinosaurs were to what to what we are. Who's to say there's not a, something completely different? Um, lizard people, maybe, from you know millions of years ago, living on living on our earth, on our earth. Yeah, do you know what? Absolutely, I hadn't thought of that. But no. you, that is more than feasible. I mean, you think about it. If you don't. I, I don't know. Uh, if, if you don't tend to your garden for a summer, yeah. Oh my God! How quickly does nature overtake? Oh, the absolutely. No matter yeah, you... how hard work. So, so that's just one season. So, so yeah, you know, over that period of yeah. time, nature just reclaims everything back. And... Yeah, I mean, you can see. Yeah. I mean, if you, you ain't got to look for, for, for clever photographs. You'll see a motor, a, a motorway of concrete, and in the middle of it, you'll see a single flower that somehow managed. To find its way through and like you say over time nature will absolutely uh, you know an erosion is is um i mean we lived in australia for a while and um living near the beach the erosion on the outdoor furniture over one year we were there one year was phenomenal uh, because of the salt and the seawater um so yeah human structures would would gradually deteriorate very quickly you know in the space of 100 years you know windows windows would break and and, and disintegrate and like you say um, the roads would disappear because nature would just overtake them. So signs of human beings yeah. or, or, or any sort of civilized um, um, civilization would definitely disappear. And also there's things like uh, you think, well, how come we've not got fossils and things like that, these people, but apparently fossils are really, really um, unusual because it takes a certain um, amount of correct circumstances for fossils to happen because um Obviously, if an animal dies in a field, the erosion process will take over. You know, obviously, the, the you know the uh, other animals and insects will will clear the carcass, and the bones eventually yeah. will be ero eroded away, much like anything else. So it's a very. And they're saying that there was something like I think they said there was something like what eight and a half billion T Rexes in existence over the that's what they estimate over the time of the, the time of the dinosaurs. Yet we've only got one complete skeleton of a T Rex, and only you know a few partial skeletons of other T Rexes. So to actually have fossils, and if it was a much further back in the history of the planet, further back than the dinosaurs, long enough, then there may not be any fossils. And again, depending on what the situation was of of how it all all came to pass. So maybe we are not Bloody the hell. one and only um, occupiers of this planet. And, and I do think it's maybe. amazing. Go on. Well, maybe, maybe, way back whenever it was, there was two people like you and me had a similar sort of conversation and said, for an experiment, I wonder what would happen if if we did that. I yeah. wonder. So I so, so they literally, like the Mayans, literally walked away from it, but they're hiding in plain sight or whatever they're doing and just let things all happen. It's part of a big experiment. See what happens. To just yeah. see what happens. You never know. I find it. I tell. You, I do find really, really interesting is the fact that the dinosaurs were these large, super large beasts, and then obviously when they've sort of all gone away, that that everything's a lot smaller. You know what I mean? Why I is everything that, so much smaller? I, I, <clears throat> I think dinosaurs were not scaly. Things. I think dinosaurs were either covered in fur or feathers or something like that. Well, some were. They do they say were some were. Yeah, we think of them all as lizardy things, don't we? But yeah, you might be right there. I think some were. And I tell you what, what's really interesting as well. Again, look at Australia. Look at the animals in Australia. How different they are to the animals everywhere else. Is, is, is Australia is Australia the only only um, continent with marsupials, or are there other marsupials in other places? No, I, th I think there's some on, on some of the African continents. Is there? The truth, yeah, um, but it's more of a climate. Thing, I think, right? Uh, okay, on, on, on that, but there are certainly, I mean, like kangaroos are unique, aren't yes, they? Um, very. And um, 
possums, I think. Uh, are, um, are possums are America. No, you get them. In, no, you get them in America as well. Possums. Do you? Oh right, okay. Yeah. Well, of course you do. Florida, don't you? And all that sort of area. Sorry, mate. Yeah, of course you do. What's the other thing that's unique over there? There is. I, I'm pretty sure there's a couple of a couple of species. It might come to me. It may well, go and get it. Might not. Things like well, there's a lot of species. Tasmanian devils are, are unique over there. The birds are, are unique over there. Uh, Sorry, change the subject again to what back I was what I was saying about the levels of carbon in the air millions of years ago. They also say, again, we were talking about climate change a few weeks ago, um, that the North Pole was t-shirt weather. Really? Yeah. See, that wouldn't shock, shock me either. That, no. that really, really wouldn't shock me. Yeah, we, we had this debate, didn't we, about everything goes in circles. Yeah. And, and for sure, you can look back uh, um, through, through, through the geology and you can see the different extreme heats extreme colds ice ages and then the opposite side of it and all the other bits and well there was, they were saying so, that go on they, they were saying as well that as the earth goes the angle tilts very very slightly over millions of years so they reckon that in a million years you know britain could be on the equator almost because of the way the earth will tilt tilt around and countries like australia could be cold because um, uh -huh. the, the the tilt is very is moving very 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 slightly. I mean, to say it could take a million years, but and again, in a million years, everything could change. Yeah, definitely. So in a hundred years, everything can change. In British politics, in ten minutes, everything can change. Well, look how how much things change from twenty nineteen to twenty twenty, and actually from twenty 2020 twenty to twenty twenty two. You know, if you think in twenty twenty twenty, sorry. The tw out of an extra 20 there in 2020 we couldn't even go out we couldn't even see people it was illegal to go and see your mother i mean how crazy unless, is that unless you're a politician yeah unless you're a politician where you could you could you could have a snog with your girlfriend in the lift and that was do quite all right then. or have a party yeah just do you want. Or, or, or pen we're going off we're we going are going off, off. we yeah. are going off. yeah did you know that they reckon a chicken is a, is a very close tendon to a dinosaur yeah, I can imagine that. Yeah. Mm, yeah, the like, balls and all the other bits. It's got a T Rex look about it. Yeah, as a bit. But you ask yeah. the question, why are they so much smaller? Really good question. What a really good question. I don't know. Because as a species, we are getting taller. We are. So so when you when you look back over medieval times and the old suits of armor and stuff, they were they were quite tiny people. Yeah. So, yeah. So 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 we Tom Cruise the size. Uh, yeah. So, so, so he's ancient. We, we get, yeah. So we're getting bigger. So why would they have evolved to be smaller? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Whole does species it? to be smaller. I don't know. Maybe it's something to do with the climate. I don't know at the time. But radically smaller. I mean, yeah. I mean, the T Rex. There was a tarant Brontosaurus Rex. Was huge, great yeah. big things, weren't yeah. they? Yes. I mean, I suppose you still have elephants. They're, 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 they're not big. they're not big compared to the dinosaurs though are they really no i mean no, um not at all to, to what oh being... gee, gee, i've had a thought i've had a thought <clears throat> gotta say it before i forget if you have fishies in a pond yeah they will only grow to the size of the pond and the amount of fish that's in there so if you had a solitary fish in a great big pond it'd grow pretty huge if you had the same pond but a hundred fish in it, they wouldn't grow as big as that solitary fish. Could it be then that as the population of the dinosaurs increased and increased and increased, there was less room because they wouldn't be able to travel across um, the, the, the waters of the seas. So they must have been concentrated on a landmass. So could it have been that their population grew and grew? So therefore, evolution wise, they got smaller and smaller and smaller so, so they could all fit on it. Uh, well, I think that's not strictly true with all fish species. I think it's only goldfish that are like that, I believe, um, that that grow no, according to the size. The same. Do they? Yeah. Um, but but no, yeah. but I don't think science backs that up because I think there obviously there were smaller, there were smaller versions of dinosaur, but I don't think there was any evidence that got smaller as, the, as as time went on. But what I mean is obviously dinosaurs were wiped out, a whole new species came along as predominantly as well. Why are we so much smaller than dinosaurs? Why why are we not? you know similar sort of size that that that's weird you know every single animal is a lot smaller than it was much smaller 
mm. the planet we came from was much smaller. Who maybe. knows? I'd like to hear some scientific people giving some insight to this because we just watch something on the internet and get an idea, don't we? Yeah, basically. We need some, some people brilliant. some people with because intelligence. All these questions. Yes, all absolutely. These questions. Yeah. Absolutely. So, mm. Oh, fantastic. That's a huge can of worms there, isn't it? Surely yep. someone's got to have some, some opinions on this. Let us know what you think and why you're at it. Why not hit the uh, the like button, that little thumbs up thing in the corner, the uh, the um, subscribe button even better. And there's a little bell as well. What is it called, Steve? What do you like to call it? It's called a bell end, Jay. You've and, got to hit the... And who doesn't, who doesn't, doesn't like to have their bell end pressed? Yeah, so Steve likes you to, to press his bell end and so you get notifications of when we have a new video. Thank you very much for watching. We are The Highwoman and we will see you next time. Bless you. Cheers for everybody. Bye-bye.